Welcome back for this final segment of Broncos Beat. You guys, we have touched on the ways the coronavirus pandemic may impact training camp and the preseason schedule, but now on to the regular season. And we're going to only have time to scratch the surface here. But last week, the folks from Pro Football Talk mentioned that there are numerous teams planning on traveling to away games on the day of the game. Now, pre-COVID-19, that idea is just blasphemy. But given these crazy times, is this still a crazy idea? I think it's going to be different and guys are going to have to adjust. I think coaches, players, everybody's going to have to adjust. And, and that may be really the, the theme of the entire season is just finding ways to adjust. But yeah, if you're traveling on game day and then leaving right after, what if you're playing a, an evening game, a primetime game? I mean, my goodness, that, that obviously gets into some interesting logistics there, especially when you consider some coaches like to get out there a day or two early. They like to get a little bit of the lay of the land, get guys used to certain time. If it's time change, maybe get used to altitude here in Denver. So yeah, it definitely seems like it'll impact the season. This is where the Broncos youth is a huge advantage in my eyes. There's a couple of ways that this youth of this team is an advantage. These guys don't know any better. They're not used to that. And now most of them, there are obviously veterans on this team that'll be like traveling on the same day kind of stinks. The young guys don't know. They'll just be fired up to play in the NFL. This is their dream job, dream come true. So for the young guys, which Broncos have plenty, I think that's a huge advantage. And when we get into the regular season, to me, it's all about starting fast. We don't know if the regular season is going to be 16 games, 10 games, six games. And then they start the playoffs in February or something like that. So if you're the Broncos, and I haven't gotten off to a 6-0 start, I know, I know, a little crazy, <laughs> but get off to that fast start because you don't know if there is going to be an end of a regular season. So the youth of this team comes through on traveling on that same day and also they don't know they're not supposed to be this good this soon. That's another advantage that youth has for the Broncos. That's, that's a great point, and I'm glad you pointed out the, also the nature of a short season. You've got to treat every game like it's a playoff game. Yep. Because let's say there's a scenario where you only manage to get to six games, like Cecil said, or let's say eight games. You play half the year. Every game is going to take on added import. But – to go back to the travel thing, one thing that they may have to work with in terms of teams tr if traveling on the same day, if that is the case, going east coast to west coast, west coast to east coast, that's one thing where it might be a bridge too far. Denver, centrally located up to where you could pull it off, but one thing would have to change, I think, and that is that those east coast games that are currently scheduled for 11 a.m. mountain time, and the Broncos have a bunch of those, you need to make sure you move those to two 205 or 225 so the Broncos aren't having to leave at four in the morning. Really good point, Mace. You know, there's also the idea that, you know, traveling on a game day increases the risk of injury. So is a lower COVID risk worth a higher injury risk? That's Anybody? A great question. That's a great, <laughs> that's a great question because that's something that we don't really know because we're not used to teams traveling on the day of the game. So we don't have data. Now they are traveling on the day of the game down in Australia for Australian rules football. But uh, you know, we don't really know if that's translating to an increased injury risk or not. So if you don't know if it translates to an increased injury risk, then I think you have to roll the dice on the decreased COVID risk and roll with that. I feel like the players feel like this is an increased injury risk for them. Yeah, I mean, it definitely could be whatever the data says, but I'll tell you this, depth is going to be tested this year. There is no doubt, especially, and God forbid, we want everyone to stay healthy forever, but if coronavirus hits a room and all of a sudden you're running back rooms down or something like that, your depth is going to seriously be tested. So if it, if it is, travel on the same day means increased injury risk. Well, you better have quality depth. The Broncos have drafted incredibly well over the last three seasons. That has given them depth at multiple positions, not every position. So you will be tested this year in terms of depth in the NFL. Yeah, and so is that te depth going to be hiding out on your practice squad of 20 players? Again, you know that those aren't necessarily equally replacement to your starters. So you're right. And then so that obviously adds in the factor of the quality of play at some point. So if you're, if you're – we already know with the NFL, it's not a matter of if, it's when, when you're going to get hurt, right? So there's that part. There's the COVID stuff. And you, you bring all that together and wonder, in the end, how much is this going to affect the quality of the play we're going to see on the field? 